So emotion is a sp spontaneous responses to certain stimulus. Whether it is good or bad, it is emotion. No, kaya nga may positive and negative emotion. From the word uh, movere, emotion, no? X, uh, X is out, movere is move, to move out, to release, no? to respond to that particular stimulus. Na ano yung initial reaction mo, behavior mo, emotion mo, or thinking mo, and then yung iyong action dun sa stimulus na yun, that is emotion. No? So there are two kinds of emotion. One is positive and the other one is negative. So positive emotion is composed of joy, relief, triumph, jubilation, happiness. No? It gives satisfaction and fulfillment. So kung positive stress, meron din naman tayong positive emotion. So it gives us uh, satisfaction, no? containment, no? parang fulfilled, no? na okay, accomplish ko, uh, masaya ako at the end of the day, nagawa ko to, and then rewarding, that is positive emotion. However, itong negative emotion, this composed of sadness, manifestation of sadness, disgust, annoyance, anxiety, anger, jealousy, fear, wherein it gives us stress, anxiety, worries, disturbances, no? uneasiness, no? para tayong hindi natin alam kung ano yung mangyayari. Meron tayong worries. No? In psychological and physical effects of extreme emotions, whether it is too high or too low, sinasabi na merong physical, no? hindi lang psychological, hindi lang intangible, hindi lang tayo nagiging malungkot, hindi lang tayo nagiging stress, hindi lang tayo nagiging uh, uh, problemado. Even sa physical daw, ay meron daw effect ang emotion. No? So scientifically and biologically, meron din siya effect. At sabi nga dun ni Sadsad and uh, Magalona, if imbalance in emotional health happens, may mga signs and symptoms na nangyari. Una ay nawawalan tayo ng gana. It is occur when you have a reduced desire to eat. No? Pag ikaw yung problema, mababa ang iyong emotional level, wala kang ganang kumain, nangangangayat, or iba naman, halimbawa, sobrang tumataba. No? Halimbawa, pero dito sa emotional, pag bumaba yung level na emotion mo, ay nawawalan ka ng gana. No? So, maraming possible na eating disorder. No? Anorexia nervosa, bulimia, ano, binge eating. No? So, ingatan natin yun pag tayo ay naba, nawawala ng ganang kumain after maka-encounter na tayo ng isang problema, maging alerto tayo doon. Ano, bakit tayo nawawala ng gana? Another ay itong skin asthma or eczema. Ito yung pamumula at pangati ng ating balat. Lalo na kung wala namang wala naman tumama sa ating bagay or insekto and then merong portion sa katawan natin na itchy and then may redness it can tell us na possible meron tayong imbalance sa emotional health allergies bukod sa response na ating katawan dahil sa foreign substance, eh dahil merong foreign entities din na pumapasok sa ating isip, sa katawan natin, no? na meron imbalance. No? Numbness, so lost, reduced, and altered sensation. So nakakaramdam tayo ng pamamanhid, yung parang kapag merong physical object na tumama sa atin, hindi natin nararamdaman agad. Another, hindi tayo nag-respond. No? heartburn. So heartburn is usually described as pain in the chest. So ito ay nararanasan natin lalo na kapag tayo may emotional imbalance, so pag tayo stress, so work, sa academics, marami tayong pinaproblema, so nakakaranas tayo ng chest pain and then naging heartburn and then later ang pinakamalala ay acidity. Unstable bowel movement, nakakaranas tayo ng abdominal abdominal pain, cramping or bloating. Dry mouth and bad breath, 
is com- uh, caused by aside from dental health habits unhealthy lifestyle dahil sa emotional imbalance then merong experience tayo ng tiredness na napapadalas at napapatagal no hindi hindi natin na overcome yung fatigue ganun din yung muscle pain sakit ng ulo and then itong feeling na umiikot yung paligid tumataas ang ating blood pressure uh, hindi natin makontrol no nagpapalpiti tayo uh, nahihilo no parang nangihina and then yun nga uh, tumataas yung heart rate no at nahirapan tayong huminga Ganun din, uh, bukod sa fatigue nga, nakakaramdam tayo ng pananakit sa katawan, pinapawisan ng malamig, nak- nakaka-experience tayo ng anxiety, and then itong uh, hyperacidity, no? sumasakit yung ating uh, dibdib, sikmura, no? and then pabago-bago tayo ng, ng mood. No? minsan masaya, minsan malungkot and then kapag masaya biglang bababa, no? magbe-breakdown na malungkot and then pagka malungkot may kaunti lang instance ng joke bigla namang sobrang sasaya no? So in an order to strengthen, maintain, increase our emotional intelligence, there are five major categories of skills in order to enhance our emotional intelligence. First is the motivation. And let's just check our reason, our motive of why we're acting or behaving in a particular way. No? Halimbawa, gusto natin yung goal na yun. Halimbawa ay maging honor student o kaya ma-achieve yung ganitong goal sa buhay. So, i-check natin yung motivation natin. Malinaw ba yun para ma-enhance natin yung emotional intelligence natin. So, itong motivation, it initiate, guides, causes us to act or to strive on a particular endpoint no, or achievement. Self-awareness. So ito yung consciousness no, of our own behavior, emotion, thinking, action. No? So alam natin kung saan ang gagaling, bakit ba ako ganito madaling magalit, mapikun, matawa, no? bakit kaya ganito ako mag-isip, mag-judge. No? So yun yung self awareness. Ito naman self regulation, ito yung controlling our behavior, emotion, thoughts and actions, regulating energy states, no? Kapag halimbawa ay masyadong masaya yung grupo, wag na masyado tayong hyper, no? Kailangan nating i-regulate or control yung ating tendencies. And then kapag masyado na mamalungkot, wag naman tayo masyadong iiyak, o halimbawa nanonood ng telenovela or drama, i-regulate din natin, no? At social skills, no? Yung the power to interact or communicate with other people using our speech, gestures, physical or facial expressions, and body language. And of course, yung empathy, no? the ability to understand, to feel what other is experiencing, no? to share with the other their, the, our time hearing their experiences and understanding what they are facing. No? 
to maintain emotional health, una, identify kung positive o negative yung emotion na nakaka-apekta sa atin. Siyempre, kung positive, we recognize it and then enhance it. No? Kung negative naman, hanapan natin ng proper coping mechanism. Let us try to convert or divert itong negative emotion na nagkukos sa atin ng emotional stability, no? instability. Find a confidante or a person to trust. So as a person, as a teenager, bukod sa best friend, nanay, tatay, find someone, a person who you, who you can trust. Yung through, through thick and thin nandiyan, no? Express your emotions. No, as long as tama, wala ka na sasagasaan, do not be afraid to share your emotions. Kung ikaw ay nalulungkot, kung ikaw ay masaya, kung gaano man ka-weird yung thoughts mo, ang mahalaga ay nasi-share mo. No? Have moments of silence and keep calm. No? Silence is the language of God. No? So if you really want to maintain emotional health, maganda na nagre-reflect tayo ng introspection. No? Have a moment of silence. Accept that life is a challenge. Life can only be understood backwards but must be lived forwards. No? At ang challenges or struggles natin sa buhay, hindi natin inatrasan dahil ito ay magiging stress and later maging depression, dapat ay hinaharap natin. No? Develop a mantra. Kung tayo ay may emotional instability or meron tayong anxiety, sadness, negative stresses, no? develop natin yung mantra. Ano yung mantra yun nga? I am present. I am present now. I can and I will. Ano yung develop a mantra? Ito yung paulit-ulit na sinasabi natin, no? Parang nirerecollect natin or kinukondition natin yung sarili natin. Say for example, I can and I will. I love myself. I am present now. I can and I will. I love myself. I can. I am present now. Nung no, sa makondition mo yung isip mo na ito yung iyong mind setting. Develop freshness of appreciation. So learn how to appreciate yourself. Self-love. If uh, You can also as other people or close friends to appreciate you kapag ikaw yung nakatanggap ng award or recognition, no? Halimbawa, hindi nila alam, no? Ipa-inform mo sila. Be grateful for everything, whether it is small or large uh, events or things na nangyari sa atin. Be grateful. And of course, emit positivity. Dahil nga emotion ay contagious. <music>